How to Breed Koi Fish Step-by-Step 100% Success Rate Complete Guide Part 1 How to Breed Koi Fish Choosing Koi Breeders to Breed 1. Choose female koi fish breeder that are at least 3 years old and 2 years old for males. Koi don't sexually mature until they are about 3 years old. Wait until they are 3 years old to increase their likelihood of breeding and producing quality offspring. Koi are about 20 inches, 50.8 centimeters, long when they are 3 years old. 2. Identify at least 2 males and 1 female to stay in the mating pond. Male and female koi generally look quite similar. However, during mating season, the males have small white growths on their pectoral fins and heads. Remove any koi from the pond that you don't want to breed, otherwise you will end up with unwanted baby koi. It is easy to spot males once they start breeding as they will chase the females around the pond. It is safe to have multiple male koi in the same pond. 3. Select koi that have attributes you want to replicate. Consider the attributes that you want for your koi offspring. If you want a certain fin shape, choose koi that demonstrate that characteristic. Regardless of what physical characteristics you want, try to choose koi that have healthy looking scales and are at least 10 inches, 25 centimeters, long. If you are looking for a certain color, choose koi parents that demonstrate that coloring. Avoid using a child's pet koi for breeding as the koi can suffer torn fins, bruises, cuts and occasionally death, during the breeding process. Take your koi to a vet if you are worried about their injuries. Learn more on how to breed koi fish part 1 at https colon slash slash www.geobeelkoicenter.com slash how to breed koi fish slash hashtag part underscore one underscore and underscore how underscore to underscore breed underscore koi underscore fish. Watch out for the part 2 on my next video. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification button for you to be updated on my next video and similar video like this. Thanks for watching guys see you on my next video. Happy koi fish keeping God bless. Part 2, in how to breed koi fish making the right conditions for breeding. Breed koi in late spring or early summer. Koi tend to breed when the weather is warm and the water temperature has risen. It is important to prepare koi fish breeding tank and food for koi fry like brine shrimp, hard boiled eggs, daphnia, etc. as koi can produce up to 100, 000 eggs depending on their size koi fish can lay incredible numbers of eggs at once a female koi lays up to 100,000 eggs at one pound of weight if you don't have the right conditions or enough capacity for baby koi consider removing the males from the pond during the season you will need a pond that is three feet 0.91 meters deep and six feet 1.8 meters by eight feet 2.4 meters foot wide to house five koi for more koi you will need a larger pond 2. Use a filtration system to keep the water clean. A clean pond is important for the health of the koi and their spawn. Use a specialized koi pond filtration system to keep the water clean during the breeding season. These can be expensive but are necessary for breeding. You need to add the koi fish breeders in the breeding cage with fine mesh so that the eggs will not be sucked in by the submersible pump. Pond filtration systems can be purchased from pet stores, specialty fish shops or Amazon for between used 200 2000 US dollars. If your pond is particularly dirty or filled with algae, you may need to completely clean it out. 3. Use a skimmer net to remove any debris or predators from the water. Predators, such as other fish, and debris should be removed from the pond to protect the spawn. Use a skimmer net, or a similar scoop tool, to remove anything that might harm the koi. Skimmer Nets Pool Skimmer Net can be purchased from Amazon. Com link in the description below. If cats or birds are approaching your pond, cover the pond with netting to protect the koi. Use a piece of netting that is large enough to cover the pond and secure it down with heavy rocks. 4. Feed your koi 4 times per day with high-protein feeds and live foods, while you are trying to breed them. Increase your chances of koi breeding by keeping them well-fed for the month before you breed them. Feed the koi as much as they can finish in 5 minutes. Earthworms, Daphnia, Black Soldier Fly, Tubifex, Duckweed, Azala, Shrimp anything that are nutritional food with high protein content same with the pellets it should be high protein like Koi King high protein, Aquamaster high protein pellets. 5. Place a fry mat in the pond or koi fish spawning brush. This is a flat and sticky mat that gives the koi a place to lay their eggs. If koi can't find a place to lay their eggs, they won't always mate. 
Place the mat in an obvious place at the bottom of the pond. Purchase a fry mat or koi fish spawning ropes from a pet store like Amazon or a specialty fish shop. Koi breeding mats place the mats on the bottom of the tank, covering at least two-thirds of the tank surface. Koi eggs fall to the bottom of the tank, and will stick. In traditional koi fish breeding, the koi fry mats, also known as spawning mats, are placed in the breeding enclosure while the parent koi fish are breeding. How do you make a koi breeding mat? Alternatively, you can use tightly packed Spanish moss or frayed nylon rope to create the mat. Some breeders even use evergreen branches. Generally speaking, anything that is non-toxic and about 4 inches deep will work. The material also needs to be thick enough to catch all the eggs. Six, prepare a separate tank for the adult koi. If you want to breed a large number of koi it is important to remove the adult koi fish breeders as they will eat many of the eggs and actually consume all the eggs. Make sure that the koi tank is clean and has a filter system. If you are wanting to breed a small number of koi, leave the adults in the pond. Purchase a koi tank from a pet shop. For two koi, you will need an aquarium that is at least 100 gallons, 380 liters. Three, seven, leave the koi to mate. This process can happen immediately or can take a few weeks. Don't worry if the koi don't look interested in each other initially. A storm, full moon, or change in air temperature can help encourage the koi to mate, so be patient and let nature take its course. Once the koi have mated, you will see a froth appear on the top of the water and their eggs will be visible on the fry map. Learn more how to breed koi fish at https colon slash slash www.geobilkoicenter.com slash how to breed koi fish slash how to breed koi fish equipment mentioned can be found in the description below. Link of the part 1 on how to breed koi fish video also in the description below. Watch out for the next video part 3. Thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification button, for you to be updated whenever I have new videos like this. See you on my next video God bless. Part 3, on how to breed koi fish caring for koi fry young koi. 1. Look for froth or scum appearing on the top of the water. This indicates that the spawn has been released. The spawn is immediately fertilized by the male koi and eggs are formed. Remove the koi fish breeders once they stop spawning. Perform at least 60% water change. or transfer the spawning brush or spawning maps to another tank for hatching. Then place strong aeration and methyl in blue to protect the eggs from fungal attacks. The eggs will start to hatch after about two to five days, depending on the temperature. If you are breeding the koi for profit, remove the parents out of the pond as soon as you notice the eggs or the presence of froth on the water. Do start feeding the koi fry 4 days from hatching, since this time. The digestive system is already developed and, they don't have egg sacs already, you will notice it because they are already free swimming. Feed your 4 days from hatching brine shrimp, daphnia or hard-boiled egg yolk. After 10 days you can feed the baby koi powdered koi pellets after 10 days. Crush up koi pellets using a blender or mortar and pestle until they are in a fine powder. Sprinkle the powder over the pond. Pour in enough powder to last the fish for about 5 minutes. Feed the koi 4 times per day. Continue to feed the baby koi powdered food until they are 4 weeks. Over time, you will learn how much food the baby koi will eat during each 5 minute feeding session. It can take a few days for the koi to get used to eating the powdered food. Feed the fish 10 days after you notice the eggs. 3. Increase the size of the food once the koi are 1 month old. Start to introduce crumb sized pellet pieces once the koi are 4 weeks old. You will still need to crush the pellets but they no longer need to be in a fine powder. 4. Cull any weak fish if you are breeding for profit. If you have a small pond and want to breed the koi for profit. You will need to cull some of the fish. 
Identify the koi that are very small, have physical disabilities or aren't the color patterns you are looking for. Learn more how to breed koi fish at https colon slash slash www.geobeelkoicenter.com slash how to breed koi fish slash. Link in the description below. Please don't forget to like, share and hit the bell notification button for updates of my new videos. Thanks for watching guys. God bless.